Oh. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, I thought that they had food here. I, I assumed they would have food. Apparently not. Let's put some bubble spores down. Just sh crap ton of them. Hmm. Don't know why there wouldn't have any food around, but whatevs. I guess apparently they don't. For some damn reason. Alright. And now, what else will they eat? Blum bushes? Aren't there a lot of, there are a lot of those around already? I guess not enough, though. There you go. Eat all the blum bushes you want. Although you think they just eat the berries off the blum bush, not the blum bush itself. Or otherwise, you wouldn't have a, a very good ecosystem going. It's got to be a cycle, you know. They got to eat eat the uh, fruits of the blum bush, then crap out the seeds, and the blum bush spreads. That's how it would work in real life if the blum bush were real. But it's not real, and this is some bull crap. <laughs> Come on, pull out these little radishes all over the place. All right, there need to be a shallow water, all right. I think the Flumpa sets can walk in shallow water, yep, they can. But not in the deep, I don't think. Oh, I need something for him over here. Gotta be something more for him. Here, you guys can eat some of these. Just don't eat them all. These Flumpa sets just eat like crazy. I need to hurry, because these Flumpa sets are already on the de decline. Palm. All right. Where does it go again? It must go in the deep. Yeah, okay. I'm not sure if they can even eat that, though. I'm not sure if they can go in the deep swamp. So I'm not going to bother too much with that. Ooh, these Rittergers trees. That's... that's uh, I'd like to see a game like this made again, but with more consideration to how things really work. That is, you know, with uh, a, a life cycle involving plants wanting predators to eat them because that's part of the reproduction cycle. Rather than predators being the bane of them. And also, as far as animals as far as animals go, hopefully predators where uh well some kind of setup so when the predators increase and the their food declines, it doesn't mean they all that all the food immediately goes extinct. It's a little bit of give and take, like it is in real life. And they're really going hungry. Hopefully they uh, start reproducing a bit. Come on. What did I need to have, like... Was it 500? Wasn't that how many I needed? Or maybe it was my turn 500, I'm, I'm not sure. You guys better start eating. We've got food all over the damn place. Okay, they can walk in the deep swamp. Alright, alright. I'll just drop some more of this palm in the deep swamp then. There we go. Eat and be merry, and win me this mission, if you will. Look at these guys. Damn. This ecosystem is just too small to be a, any kind of accurate simulation. It's too bad. Would be kind of cool though. Well, this this palm just go reproduces like mad. They could probably just completely satisfy themselves off that. Oh. Uh huh. Okay. What have I figured out? Uh, <laughs> artificially destroy all competition. <laughs> Basically. What's this? What's this teaching me? It basically, it's teaching me that. Uh, Human interference is a good thing, because if we make the competition go extinct, then the things we want to thrive will thrive, right? Yeah, that's not really a good message game. Look at how much these guys eat. In theory, though, with all this palm here, there should be enough that they can never really eat it all. Well, I suppose they'll eventually get to such a huge population that they will overwhelm them. Hopefully. Hopefully enough to, for me to win the game. Or this mission, anyway. What you guys doing? <laughs> Is that the sound they make? Uh, sounds like a guy vomiting. Yeah, see, harvest rate none, eaten by nothing. And I don't really see any indication, any indicator of how, when they have babies or anything. I think I need to get the population up to 100 by turn 500. Well, I'm not going to make it, if that's the case. Because they just have 
only have one baby or maybe two at a time and they're just too slow. Even though they got friggin... Oh. Okay. Yeah, they were not driven to extinction. Oh, okay, they just didn't have to go extinct. Alright. Yep. <laughs> well, fine. Whatever. They're ugly as hell, too. Alright. Hydenok? Say the Hydenok I'm pairing. What will you do? Um, destroy all the competition by eating them all. That's what I'll do. Gungan Conservationist. <laughs> uh. Ooh, this could be tough. Because I have to get the high knocks or the truffle trees above. I need to get the, the population 200 and get the popu Gungan population above 1500. How will I balance it? I do not know. That's some bull. Gotta say. Gotta say, game, that's some bull crap right there. It hasn't... as needed? Ah, uh, well, that's the reason why you've got trouble, idiot. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Some, some, just have some. Alright? Well, go... Uh... Yeah, I, I hope I know what I'm doing, too. Not like I can always just say, screw this mission, right? You guys can have more of the whatever bushes, the G Geimer bush. Here. Some. You have some of them, alright? Be happy with that. Let's see, how many of these do I have? These things reproduce fast, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem, I think. 24. Alright, I need them to be above a hundred. Go guys, go! Reproduce! Nothing eats them, right? I'm pretty sure not. This should be a problem, I just need them to reproduce fast, that's all. And the Gungans can just survive on whatever the hell else is around, I don't care. They seem to be doing fine. I don't have to get them up, I just have to have them maintained, basically. They haven't maintained everything except for the hide knocks, just have some. See if that helps. Does that help? That seems to have helped the Gungan population. Uh, what are, what are these? Enormous. Uh. In, some kind of enormous dragonfly? It's cool. Dragonflies are friggin' awesome. I love dragonflies. But these guys are big ass predators, huh? Huh. I don't care, they're pretty cool. Check the crash on them. Oh, they're not dragonflies after all. They're not nearly as cool as I thought. Hmm. Mosquito-like creatures. They look a damn thing like mosquitoes. Whatever. Yeah, this is the crash. I didn't, I didn't really uh, consult it very often in my playthrough, but this is what it does. It's just kind of information on all these species. See? Kind of cool, actually. Some interesting lore here. Tass Tasso tree is from Naboo. I kind of recognize them from the movie. Tentacle fern took. I guess it's not a Pippin took though. They're a hopping rodent that breeds quickly and likes to do backflips. Okay. <laughs> oh, these things are. Those things are pretty freaky looking, isn't it? Yob shrimp. Zayla, huh? And here's different bubbles also. Got information about all kinds of stuff. Oh, what's it say about Boss Nass? Leader of Gungan Leader and head of the Gungan High Council. Yeah, he's called upon the heroes of the Battle of Naboo. What's it say about the B Battle of Naboo? Uh Uh-huh. Right. Whatever. What? Oh, I thought that was a way to escape this thing. <laughs> I guess I'll just Poking the crash in the eye for no reason. Do we have enough? Yes, we do. Okay, how? What? What turn? I, we just hit past turn 500, so I figured that I thought it was ending at turn 500. Our population's fine, 
and our Gungan population is fine, so what the hell? In fact, our Gungan Gun Gun population is doing really damn fine, I wonder why. Okay, now it's dropping all of a sudden, now that I say that. Them Gungans. All those predators. Predators are going to start dying now, because they're all out of food. Right? Well, they're not, they're just not hungry. What are they eating then? Oh, I guess these tooks are just reproducing too fast for them to eat them all. Wow. Look at all those little guys. What do these guys eat? They must be eating this, uh, mill flower stuff. No, grob, grob, grand vine. The, this population is holding pretty steady. Steady, steady. Whatever. When does this mission end now? <laughs> I'm ready for this one to end because I've got this in the bag. Game. No. Maybe it's by turn 1000? I, I don't know. Bog wings eat these? Oh no, gee jaws. They're not bog wings. Huh. How would a bird like that eat a friggin' tree? <laughs> I, I must ask. Well, I guess it's more like a dinosaur, but still. How would they just swoop down and gulp up a tree and keep flying? Answer me that. What does the crush have to say about this milliflower? It's pretty fragrant and it's a ground cover flower. Okay. It says it can soothe the rancor. Does it actually do anything about that? I wonder. I doubt it though. And rancors. Those guys are badass. Rancor in uh, Return of the Jedi was freaking awesome. Top of the food chain, yep. He eats everything, including other rancors. Oh. There's a rumor that the uh, Tooks are poisonous to him. That's interesting. I didn't realize they had little dynamics like that. That's kind of cool. Well, kudos to the game for that. Oh, there we go. Yep. That really wasn't too hard. Let's try the next thing. Uh, instead of going under all those, I'm going to go ahead to uh, Clawed Hopper alert. Clawed Hoppers are out of control. Okay, I'll try that. And after that, I'll try Greedy City, and then that should be it. They eat all the you know, till flowers. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I see. I'm not inclined to use other species to hold back another one species because it tends to be more that that species will just completely obliterate the other species and then they'll both go extinct. So I'm more inclined to just use the harvest tool to keep them steady. Oh, but I can't do that. Okay, there's the catch. Okay, so I got to use the. Picobus to keep the clod hoppers in line, but how do I maintain the Picobus then? These little raptor things. Yeah, they look kind of like pelican, like a pelican got screwed by a velociraptor. 